So welcome back to another Reloading Studio tutorial and I thought today we could talk about uh, a file upload feature. So uh, not necessarily specific to a particular module. So there's some modules, we can do cartridge development, we can catalog arrivals, handguns, components. But each one of these modules has a particular feature. And so if we go into powders, um, the, this is just test data, it's not really important, but we can see these little thumbnails, this cover images. If we go to projectiles, we can see the same thing. And pretty much every module will, will have these pictures. Uh, and even if we go into a responsive or tablet specific view, that's this icon over here, uh, we'll, we'll talk about controls in a different tutorial, but um, this, this is probably um, an important one for for this demo. And so we have these pictures. If we have a touch screen specific view, when we click here, um, these pictures become a lot more important because you, you can tell what's, what's going on on a smaller screen. So let's talk about this. Uh, we'll, we'll go into pretty much any record. Let's go, let's go into this one here. And we can see that there's a widget or an area where you can upload files and we already have one uploaded. So selecting a file will open a file manager and you can select the file. I'll do the same, but I'll drag my images from my desktop. So you'll, you'll see me dragging the pictures in. So how do we do this? Uh, let's say I want to upload uh, another picture. So I'll drag, a, I'll drag an image into this area and I'll drop it. And the next thing I need to do is I need to upload this image. If I click update project, I'll actually get an error. Uh, it'll say you have some files that are waiting to be uploaded. So would you like to continue to save without the file upload or, or cancel? So we're gonna cancel the save, upload the file and update again. And now we'll see two images in here. And one of them is cover. So the cover is the image that appears in the thumbnail view. When, you, when you're looking at the summary. So if we go back and we switch cover images, update, go back, and we'll see that the image has changed. Um, what we can also do is we can drag and drop multiple images. If we have multiple photos, we can drag them in here like I'm doing now and, and upload them. Or we can do the file. So I'll, I'll delete this just to just to make it a little bit neater. I'll delete these files, and we'll talk about something else. It doesn't necessarily have to be a, a picture, an image. It can be a text file, or it can be a PDF file. And the reason for that is maybe you have some notes that you took, or maybe you have a a manual or a product specification page data sheet that you want to uh, keep with the rest of the records. Uh, for example, a manual for a rifle or a handgun, uh, you can do that and you can actually upload them, save, and they'll be, your, they'll be here. These are the files that are associated with this particular record and you, and you can view them through the web browser as well. So if I click view, I'll get a new tab opening, which says I'm a test PDF file. And if we go to a text note, exactly the same thing. See that. And we and likewise, we can, we can delete them. This upload feature is present in pretty much every module in the application. So in all of the components, factory ammunition, and cartridge development. So uh, we'll, we'll talk about this. This is a reasonably complicated feature, so we'll talk about it in its own tutorial. But if we add a recipe, we'll see that we actually have another area to do, um, to upload files. So when you've shot your uh, maybe load development uh, groups, maybe you have some chronograph data, maybe you have some photos of uh, targets or screenshots from like Range Buddy app on Android, you can import it in here. Uh, so that's um, that's pretty much it. That's the uh, file upload feature in the application. It's one of those fundamental features that 
you just need to know about. It doesn't belong to any module. It's uh, it's spread across the entire app. So I thought it's a good good idea to talk about it separately. Uh, if we go to rifles, for example, likewise. Now, when you don't have an image, so I only have one image here, uh, you'll just get a default preview image. And that's application generates that. But if you have your own image, that's that's what's going to be shown. Um, I think that pretty much covers the file upload feature. So that's about it for this one.